my beauties welcome back for another video so I'm back all natural all natural so um I really do not post a lot of natural hair videos anymore because my natural hair and me we have like this tug of war relationship um one minute it works the way I want it to work the next minute it doesn't I get upset I put it in a protective style that's my truth okay um one minute I feel like it's thick another thing I'm like hmm is it thinning out I don't know but anyway um I checked into like some health problems uh, to see if anything was affecting my hair and I have a great deal of health so this is just my hair now um, I feel like I have a lot of strands but they are thinner my hair definitely is growing so that is a plus I did trim my hair twice um, twice this year, this year already but anyway this video is about the products that I'm currently using on my natural head I'm gonna hop right into it uh, because I really just don't want this video to be long you guys have no idea what I've been going through with this hair I'm trying to get it big so I kind of like been fluffing and picking all day and I just kind of pushed it back and put a headband on it okay uh, so yeah, let's get into the shampoos, cleansers that I'm using right now. So this is the Not Your Mother's Natural. Uh, what is that? Matcha Green Tea and Wild Apple Blossom. This is shampoo and this is what I've been cleaning my hair with and I actually love this shampoo. The lather is really good and I feel like it cleanses my hair without leaving it stripped of its moisture and its um, natural hair oil. So I'm really loving this right now. I use it on my hair and my daughter's hair, one of my daughter's hair because one of their hair is in a protective style right now. But anyway, I've used this twice and I really really like it this is really good this will be um, added to my um, collection basically so this is the only like actual shampoo I'm using this one right here and when I'm not using shampoo I'm actually clarifying my hair with apple cider vinegar which I did not bring which sucks so I'm going to leave the picture of the apple cider vinegar that I use right here and I also use this um, bentonite clay this is a new one that I purchased. I usually purchase the, um, oh gosh, I can't remember it, but I also leave a picture of the one that I usually purchase. This one is new, and I have to say that I almost like this one a little better because when I rinsed it out, my curls were still defined as opposed to this one right here. When I rinsed it out, my hair is not as defined, um, but when I do it with this, it is. But this is super duper strong. Like when I mix it with my apple cider vinegar, it is very, very strong. So, um, yeah, you, you do it the same way. And I also purchased this on Amazon, so I'm going to leave the link down below. So between this apple cider vinegar and this, this is what I use to actually cleanse my scalp. Okay. All right, let's move on to conditioners. So the conditioners that I'm using right now is the um, Hello Hydration. This is like a cheapy conditioner, but it works amazing. I may even come back with a cheapy um, conditioner where you don't, I don't I want to say cheap, but it is inexpensive where you don't have to spend a lot of money to get moisture into your hair. And this is one of them. Um, so this is the Herbal Essences Deep Moisture Hello Hydration. Um, conditioner. I've been using this since my relaxed days into my natural days and I still absolutely love it. So this is another one that I use and this is the Ozzy Total Miracle Conditioner 7 in 1 with apricot and uh, Australian macadamia oil. So this is new and so far I like it. I've only tried it twice on my hair and I must say that the conditioner worked really, really well with detangling my hair. This is another inexpensive conditioner um, to where it works amazing on your natural hair. Great slip. It smells awesome. I absolutely love it. I don't know if I like this more than the Ozzy... What is it? Oh gosh, I can't remember and I'm mad that I can't remember because I really like it deep moisture moisture moist something something i'm going to leave the picture of the one that i usually get right here okay so those are the conditioners that i have been using right now moving right along to let's do leave-in conditioners 
So for my leave-in conditioner, I have been using this Garnier Fruit Tees, and I'm actually about out of this, so I have to get it. This is the Silk and Shine Intensely Smooth Leave-In Conditioning Cream, and I actually love this. This is one of my favorites and another inexpensive item. I don't mind spending money on my natural hair, um, but if I can get something that's less expensive and still work, I'm going to go probably with the less expensive option unless, you know, I just absolutely love it. This is the um, next leave-in conditioner that I'm using. This is the Mega Growth Anti-Breakage Strengthener. Um, this is, I've been using it as a leave-in conditioner, but I'm not really sure exactly. I guess it's just a cream, but I'm almost positive you could use it daily. Yep, apply daily, okay? So I've been using this, and I'm actually not a fan of this for my hair, but for my daughter's, my older daughter's hair, I think it works really good. But for me, I feel like it sits on top of my strands, but I did want to include it because when I mix it with a little bit of water, it works really good, but not on its own. So those are the leave-ins that I'm doing right now. Let's move on to the oil. So this is um, extra virgin olive oil. I've been using a lot of extra virgin olive oil and I've just placed it in this applicator bottle. As you can tell, it is almost gone. And I have been using this Jamaican black castor oil to, to thicken back up my hair. As I was telling you guys, I feel like sometimes my hair is thin, sometimes it's thick. So um, I know Jamaican black castor oil is really good for um, thickening the hair. So I've been using this. All right, let's move on to the deep conditioner. So this is the only deep conditioner that I'm using right now. It is also not your mother's, um, I don't know if this is mocha, matcha, green tea, and wild apple blossom. This is the deep conditioning butter mask. So this is the only conditioner that I've been using. And seriously, a little goes a long way. I'm the only one that has used it so far, so I haven't used it on my daughter's hair. But this is all that I've had to use. And oh my gosh, this stuff smells so amazing. Okay. So that is the only deep conditioner that I've been using so far. Let's move on to just the last few pieces. Okay, so right now I have been absolutely loving. This is not really a product, but this is like natural hair friendly. This mist spray bottle is a life saver this thing is so amazing i love it so it kind of gives you like a continuous mist i'm sure you guys have seen it but i love 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 this so in here i have water and the other thing that i have been using which is olive vera so i have been using olive vera juice a lot uh, mainly just for moisture purposes but I put this and water into my spray bottle and I use it a lot. Like this bottle is almost gone and I seriously just purchased it recently. Okay. So uh, the next two items are pretty much gone because, okay, so <laughs> I don't know where the lid is because I found this actually in my daughter's bathroom. She's been doing her natural hair. But I tried the Wet Line Extreme Professional Extra Hold. It was all right, honestly. Um, I know a lot of naturals was hyping this up and it's okay to me it's not really all that so i don't think i will buy it again unless i buy like a little tube like this um from amazon i think it was like five dollars or something so i've been using that and my favorite gel is gone so i have to repurchase but i did want to include it in this because um it's my favorite so um i have been using this eco <laughs> i know it's empty but i've been using this eco styler um, black castor and flaxseed oil gel. This is my favorite castor um, eco gel for now. Okay, so since that is gone and I actually have another one on the way, I can in Japan I can get a hold of this one. So this will hold me over. This is just the clear one. Uh, it's okay. It's an eco gel. I love eco gels. They work great on my hair, but the the black castor and flaxseed one is my favorite. So um, I'm just going to get like a big tub of that from Amazon. Well, I have it on the way. So while that is on the way, I've just been using this. Okay. So I think that's it, you guys. I don't. And then I've been using the, what is it? Cantu, Cantu edge control. Yeah, I've been using that. 
so that is it that is what i've been doing with my natural hair i'm actually close to putting it back in a protective style now um i want to do one more thing that hopefully i can film um, but yeah this is my natural hair right now i would say i'm about a little above bra strap length my daughter um did like a little length check for me so and that's where i am right now so i hope you guys enjoyed this video any questions comments or concerns leave them down below and i will see you in my next one bye